Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. Thanks for joining me today. We're talking about the Get Home Bag and the Get Home Bag system. Uh, these are the various elements that are mobile or portable in my vehicle. I do have other um, built-in storage uh, types of areas in my vehicle, uh, but these are the ones that get moved around. The one in the middle is the, uh, the actual bug out bag, and the other ones are gonna be the support elements, such as this uh, uh, waste pack. Uh, this is kind of what I would consider my scout pack if my vehicle broke down and I just wanted to check out maybe within a mile of my vehicle and didn't want to carry my main get home bag. I could just put this on. It gives me some basic uh, survival capabilities. And I can scout the area and make a better plan. Now this tote box here uh, is only something that I bring, of course, um, when it's colder. And so now that it's fall going into winter, um, I have this in my vehicle. It has a very heavy Arctic quilt uh, car heart. Uh, coveralls and so if I need to put that on to shelter in place and or to egress to a safe location I'll have it with me this is my actual bug out bag that I do have year-round with my waste pack those two kind of make up my core system uh, this is a Rothko um, this is a basic medium size assault pack and I got it for about $40 about seven years ago on cheaper than dirt has a lot of different internal compartments. Uh, in this part one, we're just going to be talking about uh, why I picked the bag and uh, what is a get home bag and basically, uh, you know, the various containers as you see here or why did I pick them. Um, and part two, we'll actually go through the gear. And so a get home bag really is just that, is trying to get to safety or to your actual home. If you're traveling very far, you're not going to actually walk to your home, but you're going to be able to walk to so some places that may actually give you safety and security, or at least you can maybe call from there to get more help. As you can see, there's multiple compartments in this bag, and uh, I've got it down over the years from 25 pounds to now down to about 10, uh, the dry weight. When I add a little water to it, it adds a few pounds. And you can see I just have a, a small pouch there on the, uh, uh, the left hand uh, strap, uh, the shoulder strap that uh, has like a, a CPR mask and uh, some uh, first aid gloves and some bandages and just basic little things in there for quick access. And so overall, I, I like backpacks more than slings, more than messenger bags. I do like vest systems uh, and even chest rig systems. Um, but for me, I've just gotten used to this system here and it just works really well for me. And so overall, um, I do uh, like to keep a lot of medical. So I, I do have that first, uh, first aid type of uh, patch there. Uh, that denotes that top pouch and even the bottom pouch and the forward front side uh, has medical and trauma gear. And so when we talk about the different elements here, once again, uh, not all these, uh, these, these pouch systems and the, the tote and everything is there all year round. It's just there uh, depending on the season. And uh, I like this, uh, this bag because it's very slender, as you can see from this top view, and it has compression straps all over it. And so you can really adjust it depending on what you have in it. Now, in the past, I used to have a lot of, well, too much stuff. Let's be honest. That's why I was at, actually at 25 pounds, my main get home bag. And I've been able to transfer a lot of that winter stuff into an auxiliary bag that I wouldn't so much bring with me by any means, but it's just in the vehicle. And this is just a way that I kind of organize it. So I have an extra canteen, some hygiene, uh, you know, wet wipes there. And on the other side, some tools like a handsaw and a blade. But inside this bag, it's just clothing and blankets. It's basically all it really is. And so that gives me a way to just store that. And when I don't need that anymore, I can just take it out instead of having to redo my get home bag completely. And so wool sweaters in there, uh, thermal uh, clothing, extra socks, you know, wool socks, uh, just a medley of things that's gonna keep me warm if I need a shelter in place in the vehicle or if I need to egress and it's very cold outside, maybe there's a, like a bad snowstorm or ice storm, or maybe it's just below zero. It can give me at least a little bit more of an edge to overcome that. So basically this is my system. It's uh, these systems are all designed to get you to safety, uh, to help you endure hardship if you have to shelter in place in your vehicle in worst case scenarios. And uh, it's all very purpose driven. Of course, everybody has their own system. Now this bag right here is a 40 liter Wenzel. Highly recommend that. I've had this one for about four years now and it's doing great. Uh, sometimes you just have to try what works best for you. 
Um, so just stay tuned to part two. We'll go through the individual items in all these little uh, kits and packs and um, just to see uh, what kind of capability I actually have. Thanks for watching.